Hi everyone and welcome to this pick a card reading on the subject of what you need to hear today. So, and today is whenever you find this reading, there is a message for you that you need to hear on this day that will help you, that will encourage you somehow, that will relate to your situation, you, your life, um, something that's happening in love or career, or, or your spiritual development, your path, anything at all that you just need to hear today. So just tune in and see which pile you feel drawn to, one, two or three, and I hope you enjoy your message. Okay, so if you picked pile number one, the first thing I felt for this group is that you need to stop giving yourself such a hard time. There's something that you need to to do in terms of shifting your attitude you need to give yourself time to heal from something um, I feel that with this group there's been um, you've been pushing yourself pushing yourself feeling that you've let yourself down somehow in something that you should have achieved by now or something that you should have done and um, the message that I'm getting for you just a channeled message is to slow down calm down stop being so hard on yourself and give yourself time to rest and breathe and you'll be able to achieve much more when you um, return to your endeavours is what I just heard. I'm going to pick an angel card for you from here, see what comes out. You've got beauty. So be very aware of the beauty of life at this time. Give yourself time to notice the beauty of life. Get outside into nature. Give yourself time to notice the trees, the flowers, even if it's autumn. You know, notice how beautiful the leaves look when they've fallen to the ground. Just enjoy beautiful things, whether this is beautiful times, spending time beautifying yourself, taking care of yourself, um, giving yourself beautiful experiences. Just take time, stop and breathe. Okay, so let's see what cards you've got. So you've got Wondrous Universe, <laughs> Walk in Beauty. That's just crazy. Okay, um, I know, you know, you don't know that I've just laid these out without looking at them, but that's incredible. I have, and that's amazing. So Walk in Beauty, it's just a reinforcement of that. And let yourself receive as well. Crazy. Okay, you've got the Ten of Cups. You've got the Eight of Wands, how interesting. The view from above, get the big picture. Mystic healer, simplify your life. It's quite a consistent message. Waves of prosperity, compassion, self-compassion, gentleness. The hermit, and you've got, okay, you have created this situation, you have to change it, and your home is protected by angels. So this is amazing, this spread, and the message is the same throughout. What I would say, if I had to sum this message up, I would say, hold on, um, take a breath, and realise that things are happening under the surface, even though it feels as if you need to be doing and doing and doing and making things happen. It feels as if you've already sown seeds for things, and, <coughs> excuse me, in this waiting period, you really do need to let yourself receive love, receive kindness, receive generosity, I just heard for some of you. Um, and it, it's any kind of kindness or generosity that allows you to stop pushing yourself so hard, being so tough on yourself. You need to show compassion towards yourself. I feel that's why compassion has come up. Soften your heart towards yourself. Some of you are really, really, you know, being tough on yourself and I'm being told to just remind you that even though you don't necessarily see the fruits of your labour just yet with one particular project possibly for some of you things are happening things are developing so step back and see the big picture see the view from above rather than focusing and micromanaging and thinking about this one particular issue and worrying about when it's going to happen or whether it's going to happen in the way that you want it to have a look at your life and your journey overall have a look at where you're going in the big picture you know what is your overall goal and and this this thing this this step within the overall goal should be should fall into a better perspective when you do that don't be disheartened wheels are turning 
and this is just a moment in time in terms of your bigger goal. In fact, if you've written goals down, get them out and have a look at them and look at the long-term ones specifically and ask yourself, am I still in alignment with my long-term goals? I might not be happy with the way things have gone this year or the way things have gone this year so far, depending on when you get this message, or this week or even today. But if I keep myself focused on the bigger picture, if I allow myself to let go of micromanaging and see the overall dream, the overall vision, I might actually be pleased with what I've achieved so far and I might actually be a bit more gentle with myself because you've got gentleness here and you're being reminded to be very gentle with yourself at this time, to surround yourself with gentle people, situations and environments. And you've also got the rest card, the recovery card. You know, some of you have, it's as if you've been through a war, you've been through the mill, you've been through a lot, maybe a lot of shifts and changes, maybe a lot of upheaval, maybe a lot of um, things that you've had to adjust to at short notice and, and feeling unsupported, feeling, you know, with the hermit here that you've had to walk the path alone to a great extent. Or even if you've had some uh, support around you or people around you who are trying to understand, you might have had the sense that you're walking in isolation in terms of your inner journey and in terms of being able to see the bigger picture for your life, that you can't always explain what your thoughts are, what you believe is possible or how you believe you're going to get there because it doesn't necessarily fall into a common sense you know easily packaged and marketed and explained idea it's a vision it's an inner vision it's having the courage to follow your inner light to trust spirit to trust what your soul is telling you to do in each individual moment and to trust that day by day to trust that there is a divine plan to trust that your higher self has a plan and you really are being encouraged to, to keep walking that path, to keep following that inner light and to keep trusting yourself because whatever it is that you've set out to do, you can do it. You've got two prosperity cards that I'm seeing immediately. Um, you've got the Ten of Cups. Uh, well, I mean, this is abundance in many, many forms. It can be emotional abundance. Um, it can also be just a general feeling of abundance in your life, abundance, success, happiness, accomplishment, fulfillment. It's the ultimate in emotional fulfillment. So if you're feeling anxiety around a lack, a perceived lack of success or, or disappointments in finances or anything like that, you have a card here that says you can achieve the kind of abundance that allows you to relax and enjoy emotional fulfillment. Some of you have not been allowing yourself to enjoy maybe um, encounters that have shown up. I'm seeing little lights popping up, possibilities for emotional engagement, whether that's with friends or family, having good times. You've been so sort of tunnel visioned on achieving something or making things make sense, making a success of your life in a way that says, see, it's okay. I am okay. I, I did, you know, have a good idea or a good vision. I can pull this all together. You've been so focused on that that you haven't been allowing yourself to enjoy good times and emotional fulfillment but that is here for you in the future right next to that you've also got the eight of wands which is a sign that things are going to pick up quite quickly and unexpectedly so for example you could have sown seeds for something and you could have been waiting and waiting and waiting and believing it's not going to happen and then some something suddenly takes off so and this again this is not a substitute for effort because obviously we have to take action to make anything happen at all it's not about sitting visualizing it or trusting oh the reading said it's going to happen it's about the things that you actually put in in process but you haven't seen the results yet you've also got waves of prosperity new abundance and exciting opportunities are coming they're, they're going to be washing over you um, and also yes there is a desire to simplify your life for some of you it will be decluttering for some of you it will be getting real clarity about friendships and relationships that have felt more like a, a heavy weight like a burden for you in recent years things that you know you have have had to um, 
hold up yourself you know you've, you've had to hold people up or help people out but to a point where it's been too depleting some of you have emotional vampires around you you have people who take and take and take or keep asking more and more and more of you but they're never there when you need someone you know you've got to walk this path alone and you're coming to a point some of you where you're beginning to think well I just need to let some of this go in order for me to fulfill my path, to follow my light, to follow my inner light and to just generally feel good and to be able to be of greater service to the whole, to the, to the world, I'm going to have to let some of these burdens down and stop trying to be all things to all people. You've got mystic healers, so some of you are healers and you just can't help wanting to fix everyone and everything. It just comes naturally, but understand that the energy that you keep around you is the energy that you will be absorbing on a daily basis so be very mindful of how that might need to change in order for you to be fully of service that doesn't mean that we don't help people out you know people who are near and dear to us but there has to be a line drawn now there has to be a place where you can just cocoon and say right I'm closing out those energies and I'm going to focus on myself for the time being I'm closing out those distractions and I'm going to focus on my inner light follow my path and make things happen now I'm going to stop listening to other people because sometimes those people are saying things to me because it, they have an agenda and it's for their what they perceive to be their highest good and not mine so I'm going to shield those things out and focus on my inner light my inner journey and I am going to allow myself to receive and start to attract the sort of people who will give back to me and give me something to allow myself to receive so I mean, that's that's it in a nutshell. I hope that helps you and I hope that makes sense for you. So your two Archangel Michael cards, let's not forget those. You created this situation and you have the power to change it. So, you know, really, and that isn't a telling off, that's, that sounds a bit harsh, but it's not. It's a, It's a way to empower you. You created this situation by allowing everyone and everything to get on top of you to, to the point where you're almost snowed under, you know, and it's almost like that image, that the image that I get is of, of Neo just sort of s surrounded by Agent Smiths and just having to get to the point where he literally couldn't fight anymore and he just had to elevate himself up up into the sky out of it all and I feel as if that's sort of what you're being asked to do to to uncreate this you've created that situation you can change it also your home is protected by angels so if you're worried or you feel unsafe in any way or you feel I need to keep people around me because I don't feel safe I can't do this alone any of that stuff you're being asked to trust to lean on God and the angels your guides whatever your belief system is you know your higher self lean on your inner spirit to get you through because beyond the, that small period of fear and self-doubt is something much more beautiful something that takes you into a different place in your life a different way of, of viewing things and a, a new ability to to manifest and to receive the abundance that you really deserve abundance in love abundance in friendship abundance in the right kind of friendship and energies around you abundance in finances for some of you a new home and I'm also being drawn to this card with Archangel Sandalphon playing um, I think it's a lute or a lyre I'm never sure but music is important for some of you as well. Music for some of you will just be a way to, to manifest or a way to get really calm so that you can get into that manifesting space. Some of you, it will be very healing for you and some of you will actually be musicians. And for some of you, if you are a musician and you happen to have come to this reading today, maybe what you need to hear is that you are more gifted than you are believing and you need to just keep trusting your, your musical vision for a bit longer give it a bit more time okay this rest period seems to be, be very important it's almost as if you've had to step back because you got worn out you got you know or you had to fight certain external circumstances that seem to be pulling you down this rest period I hope that you will come through it and um, you know come back from that rest period feeling even more um, able to pursue your goals and your dreams and able to believe in them in the future that you've visualised.
yes even more strongly you know even more able to believe in that future so i hope that makes sense let me know your comments and share i would love to know also share this video if you think someone else will benefit from it okay thanks very much for listening number one take care bye Okay, and if you chose group number two, I'm just going to pick a card for you as well, a little angel card. Let's see what your overall message is. Oh, that one just fell out. Okay, great. Faith, because you got to have faith. I just, <laughs> just heard that George Michael song. That's the first thing that came to my head. So have a little bit more faith, please. Okay, you're being asked to have faith in your journey, have faith in the future, have faith in your vision. Okay, um, it's a little bit like uh, the last uh, reading actually, but let's see what your cards are. Let's see what you need to have faith in. So you've got Desert Passage. Wow, that really is a card of faith. Trust in that there's a divine plan. Playtime. You've got the Three of Pentacles. You've got the Eight of Cups. Okay, yeah, this is starting to make sense. Vast vistas expand your horizons. You've got great adventure. Gosh, break free. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is not rocket science, this story. Alchemy, teaching and learning, all is well. You have the Two of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. Wow, interesting. Okay, and you've got two Archangel Michael cards, which I will come to. That's amazing. All right, so you've got guarded and protected and honour and trust your feelings. So you've got trust again. So straight away, what I feel the overall message of this one is, um, is that there is something that you need to walk away from. There is something that you need to walk away from in order to fulfil your highest potential and you are holding back from doing that. There is some fear around this um, and that's why you've got faith as your mini angel card because you're not sure you can do this. You're not sure you can make this move. You're not sure what's on the other side or you know what's waiting for you beyond a situation that might have come to feel quite safe but that hasn't given you everything that you wanted. It can be an emotional situation because it's the Eight of Cups, but the Eight of Cups can really mean walking away from anything that isn't emotionally satisfying. It doesn't have to be a relationship in the, in the traditional sense. You could be walking away from a family set up, you know, your, your own family, nuclear family, um, that's restrictive. You can be walking away from a job or um, a, a business that you've created or anything. It can be any situation that you know in your heart just isn't right for you anymore. You've outgrown it. You've, you know, there's, there's cups spilled, there's, there's water or milk or whatever everywhere. And you're turning your back on it and looking towards new horizons. Um, and... You know, the reason I say that this is, you know, have faith, it's okay, trust this, is because you've already decided that on some level. I'm not telling you what to do here. On some level, you've already turned your back on those cups. You've already turned your back. The Eight of cup, Cups means that you are already walking away. You, you're looking to see what's on the horizon, but you're hesitating. And that's why you've got the Faith card. But... This is amazing because right next to that Eight of Cups, you've got Expand Your Horizons. You've got Great Adventure. I mean, this is crazy what you've got here. You've got Break Free as well, all in the same spread. Break Free, Expand Your Horizons, Take a Risk and Venture Forward. <laughs> you know, it's like a sentence, you know, it's like uh, it just it couldn't really be more congruent. So trust yourself have faith in the future. You were okay before this situation occurred. You will be okay again after it. I heard more than okay because in fact what I feel is that this is a situation that has been quite depleting for some people. A situation I've just heard that's brought you to your knees 
for some of you. A situation that's been really unhealthy and for quite a long time. You've got playtime as well, which tells me that perhaps you haven't actually had very much time for play. You haven't actually been able to just relax and that's kind of what you're being asked to do now. It's almost as if you've gotten to a point where you can't go forward anymore the way that you've been doing. You need to just give yourself a break and have some have some fun. It's the only way that you're you're going to be able to get your head around it in a way because you've done a lot of overthinking and you've hesitated and you've held back but it's time for you to start really considering this as a strong possibility. For some of you it involves travel because you know you've got great adventure here and um, you've got desert passage which is which is about journeying okay it can be a metaphorical journey where we're just sort of in the desert we're in a desert where we're kind of thinking where do i go from here what what's next you know it's like that sense of being lost and and kind of having to trust your wits and not knowing what's beyond all the sand and and whether that oasis that you can see up ahead is real or whether it's a mirage you know there's just no way you're kind of stuck between rocks and and sand and 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 more sand and more sand and, and just this vast landscape of possibility but nothing really that you can hold on to and I feel that this actually this is possibly for some of you that's where you've been or that's where you are now where you where you're feeling oh my goodness you know I actually just don't know which way to go I cannot make a decision here I cannot seem to move forward. I cannot seem to get out of this situation or at least when I think about it, even though I know it's the right thing, I feel terrified and I just feel lost because there's nothing else that's actually that clear. But for some of you, there is something that's clear. There is a very clear possibility of a journey or some other kind of adventure, a new opening, a new job possibility. It might just be a journey to another town. It might be a journey to another home situation. It might be that someone in your family is asking you to take a risk to leave a relationship and come and stay with them to, to help you to get through a transition. It could be any number of things, but it does mean a change. It does mean taking a risk and venturing forward in some way and getting out of that desert phase. OK, for some of you, that desert phase will be literal. I know that sounds strange, but I've just, you know, my guides are asking me to see everything on many different levels. For some of you, that desert thing is um, a possible journey to a place that is very different to anything that you've ever experienced before. You know, somewhere that's very hot and dry, for example, or somewhere that's just, you know, if you live in a place that's hot and dry, it could be somewhere that's very wet and cold. Or, you know, maybe you've never seen snow before and you're going to be going somewhere, you know, on a winter trip or going to work in a very cold country. It's something like that where you'll be doing something that's not like anything you've done before. Or even if you've visited this place, it will be, uh, you'll be doing something there that you've never done in that place before. For some of you, it's just going to be you know you really are considering just you know packing your bags and breaking free of everything that you've known up until this point and starting afresh somewhere else one way or another you definitely need to make some kind of a change because there is you know looking at all of these cards it feels as if what's preceded them is a period of real stagnation and doubt um, you know, you, you, when you get to the point where you've been stuck in a situation for so long that you feel you're never going to be able to break free, it can actually make you start to doubt yourself in all sorts of other areas, to doubt your opinion, to doubt your wisdom, to, adapt, to doubt your ability to make wise decisions and choices. You know, just a lot of self-doubt and, and general negativity. But these cards are not negative, not at all. These cards are very positive. So what they're saying to me is that even if you do feel a little bit stuck in a wilderness at the moment, you have a lot of gifts and skills and resources within you and around you that could actually make what looks like a disaster an absolute adventure, an absolute triumph in the long term. Some of you are teachers, so we've got teaching and learning. You're either teachers or you. there is some study that you need to do that will help you to go on this journey. Some of you will be going abroad to teach. You know, that. I mean, if I look at that in the most obvious way. <laughs> 
Some of you want to do that, but you're holding back on doing that. Some of you will be going abroad to run workshops. Some of you will be considering running workshops exactly where you are, but that will be the great adventure. But there's something that involves teaching, learning, um, and uh, and taking a risk. And you're being reassured by the angels that everything's okay. All is well. You can handle this. You wouldn't have been given these gifts, these talents, these skills, and that strength. Some of you have a real strength that you've developed. And that's what's given you the ability to turn your back on something that's not actually fulfilling you. And with that strength, you will be able to go ahead. You've got the Three of Pentacles. Some of you have already been offered a contract or you're looking at a contract or you're already studying something. Like maybe you're completing a course of study or an apprenticeship or you're just about to start one. And that's where the adventure comes in. Whatever it is that you're doing, I just feel that what you need to hear today is... You know, have faith in the future, have faith in yourself and your ability based on your abilities in the past. I feel if we look at this Desert Passage card in a linear way in terms of time, this would be like where you are now or um, where this journey starts. I feel that before you got into that desert place, before you got stuck somewhere or lost somewhere, things were amazing as well so you know in other words you've been able to create amazing things i'm not saying life was perfect i know that it hasn't been without its struggles you know we all have to go through challenges they make us stronger they grow us they teach us things ultimately but i feel that before you got into this stuck place this place that you want to move away from you were able to manifest things you are a manifester trust that trust that you can go back to being that you haven't stopped being that person you've just been a little bit overshadowed by the doubts and and the the stresses of your situation whatever it is that you're hoping to move away from so something is definitely in the offing on the horizon now a contract an offer a new course of study something like that possibly an opportunity to teach for some of you and later on further on in this path an opportunity for a partnership or love or something of that nature that feels so much better than what you've been experiencing so that doesn't necessarily mean you leave one relationship and you join another you you start another one immediately it could mean that you release the stress of a job and because of that you're much more open to noticing things emotionally you feel much more relaxed and fulfilled within yourself so you allow something that's maybe already there to come in a bit more you allow yourself to receive that or to experience that you might already be in a relationship but but feel as if you've had to sort of push everything to, onto the back burner for now when it comes to emotions so you can just sort out what your journey is what you're here to do what you want to do with your life and for some of you it will mean that you walk away from a difficult situation and you find either a, a nice business partnership or a close friendship or yes it could possibly be a new love that's waiting to come in whatever it is it's much more harmonious than what's happening at the moment and then you begin to see a harvest in many many areas in your life so the seeds that you're planting now either with study or with looking over contracts or making this decision to walk away will bear fruit in two areas in emotional fulfillment and partnering and in terms of just fulfilling some of your dreams and it's not you know I'm not going to say it's like oh the end of all all your you know financial issues or whatever it's going to be an opportunity to start building on a strong foundation and to start to reap the harvest of any studying and work and commitment that you've put. so it's a part of the journey the ongoing story sorry my camera just went out there um, so you're you're moving towards a harvest you're moving towards a time when you're going to be able to actually benefit from the work that you've put in rather than feeling that all the preoccupations and worries and concerns that you're walking away from now rather than feeling that your mind is clogged up with those that and and your energy is dragged down by them to the point where you can't achieve you can't manifest you can't reap the re rewards of anything you're just you know going two steps forward and one step back all the time you're actually going to be able to reach out and pick one of those apples 
you know, pick those apples from that tree and um, and feel satisfied within yourself. It's a different kind of journey. It's a different kind of place to be in. Um, it makes a lot more sense in many ways. Okay, so because beforehand you may have had chances to play and to have fun, but but it hasn't really been leading you to a place of stability within your life. It's almost as if, you know, someone else was sort of um, organising all the play and all the fun and, and, and opportunities, and, and but it was a distraction. It was distracting you from building stability. So this is what you get when you walk away because it's almost as if at some point you thought, what am I doing here? Yes, it's great to play. Yes, it's great to have time to figure things out, but what am I actually doing? What do I actually really want? What do I want from life? And then you got very focused and you decided that you were going to have to make a change and walk away from something in order to have anything that you could genuinely put your hand on your heart and say, this is mine, this is mine. No, no one can suddenly um, pull the rug from under my feet or take this away from me. I have stability. I have my own stability. I, I can reap my own harvest. Um, you have the Midas touch right now, alchemy. Let's go to this one as well. So if you have faith in what you're doing, if you have faith in your journey and some of the ideas that you have around you now, I'm not saying go on a trip or do this or do that. That's up to you to decide. But if you have faith in the changes that you have chosen to make at this point, you will be able to manifest the things that you've got on your mind at the moment, the positive things. You will be able to. You are guarded and protected, your Archangel Michael cards. They are telling you to trust not only in the divine plan, not only to have faith in yourself and your own abilities, but also to know that you're not alone as you journey through life, that you don't have to lean on anyone else or depend on anyone else. You can do what you came here to do and what you know in your heart you're capable of doing. And you are guarded and protected in all of your endeavours as you bravely step forward out into the unknown. It's just unknown, that's all. It's not necessarily frightening, it's just unknown. So, and you also have honour and trust your feelings. So that's a card that's telling you that even though you may not be able to see, see ahead fully and see the bigger picture, you do have to trust what your heart is telling you to do. Trust what you feel and know within your heart and move forward bravely with that at the centre, with that as a guiding principle in your life. Okay, I hope that helped you, number two. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know, um, you know, give me your comments and um, yes, let me know if I can help you any more than that or if you'd like to book a reading. Okay, okay if you picked group number three, let's choose an angel for you. You've got purpose. Wow. So for you, group number three, you really are at this time focusing on your purpose or you are being asked to focus on your purpose. You're being asked to let yourself be guided. You're being asked to trust and know what you really feel you should be doing and what you came here to do in this lifetime. You are being asked to do something that you're passionate about, passionate about and something that really brings you a greater sense of purpose. So for some of you, what you really need to hear today is that Yes, it's time. It's time for you to step onto that right path now. Okay, so let's see what your cards say. You've got stepping into power. <laughs> you are strong beyond measure. Okay, you've got the nine of pentacles. Wow. Synchronicity. Amazing. Synchronicity is what you have probably in this reading already. That would be my guess because you've probably seen signs like this already in the last few days if you've, if you've got this card. And your guides are trying to guide you very strongly onto your path of purpose. Valiant courage. Begin now. Yeah, I mean, the cards agree. Okay. A new dawn. Watch your thoughts. Yes, think carefully about what you're manifesting. Clear audience. Beloved one. Soulmates, soulmate relationships. Okay, um, ten of wands, five of cups, and your two Archangel Michael cards. Wow. Go forward fearlessly. 
and a favourable outcome. Wonderful. Right, let's break this down. If I was to just um, sum this up, just at a glance, what I'm seeing here so far, I would say, um, it. I would say it's time for you to just take this goal, this vision, this dream with both hands, this purpose, this life purpose dream, and go forward fearlessly onto your path and trust and know that you will be protected and that you will have a favourable outcome. It's something like, you know, if you actually follow your passion and keep believing in what you do and keep doing it consistently, you will have the outcome that you desire. You will be able to make a career of it, I've just heard. So for some of you, it's a fear about whether this thing can be your career, okay? And if that's what's stopping you or causing you to hold back, please don't let that be the reason you hold back anymore. And I'm feeling a lot of heat and healing energy coming through with this one. So I know that some of you listening to this are in need of healing something, some kind of deep wound that tells you you can't have it all, all, you know, you can't, you've just got to put up and shut up and just do what, you know, do what everyone else does and just get by and, and you know, who are you to think that you can have this dream or do this or, it's something like that. I feel some of you have absorbed some very negative messages from your past about what's okay in life. And I'm here to tell you today that it's okay to live your passion. It's okay to do things in life that you love doing and to gradually mould them into a career, okay? Trust that journey. And uh, right, I'm going to stop um, <laughs> stop lecturing you, you now and just talk about the cards a bit more. So, stepping into your power, you are strong beyond measure and you've got right next to that the Nine of Pentacles which says you are on a journey now to, to achieve independence there is something that you're trying to do in your life that you actually you know one of the reasons you might have been holding back on pursuing your purpose as a career is because you already feel as if you're a little bit compromised in terms of whether you feel that you have complete independence you might not feel that you are complete are independent and it feels as if well I'm already in a in a shaky position materially, how dare I think that I can also pursue something that appears at first glance to be adding more instability to my life. But, you know, you're being asked to trust it. You're being asked to trust that if you put enough effort into it and you be persistent, you know, allow yourself to just keep going no matter what. You know, it might seem tough sometimes, but you have to follow your passion. You've got good cards all around this. Yes, you've got the nine of wands, which shows that you've been very burdened at times, that you've felt, I cannot take on anything else. I can't possibly do anything else. Some of you are working very hard, very long hours and, and not achieving enough, um, you know, not gaining enough financial reward or abundance in return for that. Some of you are just overburdened by circumstances, family stuff that's going on or, or stuff in relationships or just stuff and just don't know where you're going to get the energy or the courage or, or re, re vitalize your passion enough to go forward with something new or something that you love but you're being asked to take a first step and as I tune into that card what I feel is you only need to take one or two small steps to remind yourself how much this thing means to you take one or two small steps today that's what you need to hear today I feel you know of all the cards if we could just distill it down to one it would be that one that's the most meaningful begin now take your first step you could just do one tiny thing you know if if you're someone who um, does spiritual work, maybe you just do one reading and you, or you connect one person and you offer them something. If you're an artist, maybe you pick up that paintbrush again and you just draw one thing or paint one thing. If you're a writer, maybe you just commit to writing one chapter. Just do a chapter. And I'm not telling anyone here to give up their day job, nothing like that. But you must commit, recommit, keep committing to what you do as well as everything else until that 
you know such a time as that will take over you must keep believing that that is a possibility for you you know if you're a musician maybe you need to write a song maybe you need to look for a good audition to go to or or call a venue it's you know some small meaningful symbolic step that will break you out of this mindset of it can't be done it's not possible remember how do you eat an elephant sorry elephants one bite at a time okay just one small step today will make a huge difference. Sorry, that's a really horrid, horrible image, isn't it? Oh, please don't eat elephants. Okay, no elephants were harmed in the making of this video. All right, so a new dawn. The worst is behind you. For some of you, it has been a real struggle, a real struggle, just kind of... Um, keeping the finances afloat or keeping yourself going, keeping yourself going in terms of your will and motivation. And some of you do have beliefs that you need to change and things that you need to work on. And I can't wait to do some readings on manifesting. I think that's going to be really useful for, for all of us. And um, for some of you, that's where you need to get really, really clear because you've got this card here. Watch your thoughts. You need to remember how powerful you are. You need to remember to only think about what you desire, what you want. And for this group, you know, I said earlier that some of you have some very negative beliefs about what it's okay to want and what it's not okay to want. Some of you will have to do some deeper work to challenge those beliefs, to release those paradigms, to step into a new way of seeing yourselves and seeing your lives. And, um, and, and that, for some of you, will be the way to change your thoughts. You know, to change the thoughts that you, ha you have day to day. But visualisation, I cannot tell you how powerful it is. I've been rediscovering this recently. It's absolutely mind-blowing what you can achieve. Okay, so I'm not going to go into that because there's lots of material on the law of attraction everywhere and I don't think I need to address that here. But I hopefully I will do some readings of that type at some point. Um, Clear audience, some of you are receiving guidance, you're hearing things, you're hearing songs on the radio that are just like a little intuitive nudge, or you're kind of hearing inner wisdom within you. Um, some of you just actually are very clear audience and very gifted and could actually use that gift. Some of you are just noticing things that you hear other people say that turn out to be synchronicities. Um, and some of you really do need to trust what you hear within your heart, what you hear within yourself. And I know that sounds strange because we feel with our hearts, but you know, the heart also speaks, okay? Let it speak, let it guide you. If you do something day in, day out, and it just feels bad and the energy of it just feels all wrong, and then you do something else for a couple of hours and you it lights you up, you know, and you just cannot believe how life can be transformed by doing this particular thing, then you need to do more of that thing. For some of you, you have a soulmate relationship coming in around your decision to follow your path, to be on your path. For some of you, your soulmate or twin flame relationship is connected to your decision to follow your purpose, your commitment to following your purpose. Your Actually, you've right next to this card, you've got the Ten of Wands, so you could actually meet someone who's also been going through a bit of a tough time. And I just felt a bit of a tough time trying to figure out the world, trying to understand the world. So I feel as if you could both be, um, you know, light workers, star seed kind of energies. You could be, you, you could just be very, very sensitive to how challenging this plane of existence this planet can actually be and I feel that you you know you both could be having this challenge of learning to deal with that and get stronger you've got the five of cups as well I feel you could meet someone who's recently had a big disappointment someone who's actually quite sensitive and is cr trying to get through it trying to to deal with it deal with difficulties of that nature of an emotional nature and I feel that one of the reasons you know for those of you who are single that you haven't come together with that person yet is because you're both working this stuff out so that you can come together as a whole you know two holes two separate dynamic healed 
and empowered wholes. So you're both trying to find your inner empowerment in this life through your purpose, through having faith and belief in yourselves, through becoming strong through all the triumph, through all the challenges that you've had and coming through it triumphantly. And that's when you come together. I feel for you as well, if you've been through some times that have left you feeling really disappointed in not just whether or not you can achieve this purpose but also you know for some of you that's what it is for some of you it is that you've tried before oh I've tried before but I couldn't get a publisher or I've tried before but I couldn't organize this or that or I couldn't get any gigs or I couldn't you know whatever that is whatever those stories are that you're telling yourself at this time they're not real they they just don't feel real and when I look at these cards I know they're not real I know that they're a part of the dynamic of you wanting to keep yourself small not consciously but unconsciously not accepting that it's okay for you to want what you want and I know that you could make a shift in that I know that you could it's a shift in perspective that's required here okay and then you start to see those opportunities differently and you start to realise that, OK, that one didn't work out. Next. OK, that one didn't work out. Next. And then you're happy to go to a 100 um, galleries or publishers or auditions or whatever it is until you get the one that says yes. You, you're, rather than thinking, oh, that didn't work out, it's not meant to be, which is what we do when we're hiding out from something and keeping ourselves small. You'll just say, OK, maybe that one wasn't the one. Let's see what the next one brings. And you're going to become a ninja for this. <laughs> you know, like really, really, really hungry for it. Like, you know, not hungry in a destructive way, but really inspired and fired up to go for it, to go after it. So do the work, find the way to do the work. Come to me if you want some help with that. If not, there are lots of uh, resources online there are lots of videos on youtube lots of meditations lots of visualizations and um, and all sorts of great healing modalities as well so that's what i feel for this group is going to really help you this feels like the group that needs healing to step onto your path and then you have for your final two cards your cards your messages from archangel michael you have go forward fearlessly ask archangel michael to be with you to guide your steps to guide you to the, the right places people situations opportunities and to the right perspectives more than anything the right perspectives okay and you will achieve that favorable outcome i feel with this group i almost don't want to leave it like this because i just feel you know oh i don't know i want to say the right thing that will wake you up that will motivate you that will let you know that it's okay and i'm hoping that you've got that from this message but you know go go with that in peace and promise yourself that today you're going to really hear this message and you're going to turn things around and and make it make a difference let it make a difference to you rather than just scrolling onto the next reading now okay stop breathe think notice look at the synchronicities around you your guides are guiding you they're ready for you now to step onto your true path okay they're ready for you to step to take that step first step and to step into your power okay you are strong beyond measure you are a very powerful manifester you can create a favourable outcome if you allow yourself to adjust your thinking and start picturing what you want and acting in harmony with it, in alignment with it. OK. All right. That's it. Group number three. Thank you for listening. And um, let me know how this resonated for you. And um, yes, I hope to speak to you again soon. Take care. Bye.